I'm Chris Jordan from the Application Engineer at TriMac. Today we're going to talk about fully defining your sketches. Uh, how many times does this happen to you where you create the perfect sketch, all your design intent is there, this is exactly the part that you want, and it's underdefined. You don't want to use it, you don't know why it's underdefined, all you know is it's underdefined. So we're going to talk about a tool here under Display Delete Relations called Fully Defined Sketch. So if we click on this, we want to define all entities in the sketch and hit calculate. It's going to give you a little error message on this one. Um, what you want to read here is dimension to model edges or vertices, dimension to the origin. Um, right click a point in this sketch and select fix it, so on and so on. But what it does give us um, to go on here are these little zeros here that you can see. Um, this is actually telling us to uh, define it to the origin. Um, so it did give us a little hint on how to define this sketch. Maybe we can move on now. There's some dimensions in here. go. All right, so we defined the origin now. Um, and it's still underdefined. We'll do a quick rebuild to make sure that's real. Go back into the sketch. So we define now a point to the origin. And we'll see what it says now. Fully defined sketch, calculate. So it's these two edges here uh, that aren't working out well. So to fix that, maybe we'll define point on the edge of the sketch. And there we go, fully defined sketch. Now, I want to caution you to be careful using this tool. Um, this is great for troubleshooting, but if we look at a similar sketch, again, this is the same sketch, just with no dimensions on it. And we go into fully defined sketch. We do get to select chain dimensions, um, baseline or ordinate dimensions. <clears throat> so if we say ordinate dimensions here, um, we'd let it define the entire sketch. We have these gorgeous dimensions here. The problem here is that the way you built the sketch with the angles, with all of that, if I were to go in and try and change this angle, so first of all, throw in a dimension there, it's gonna make you um, select and make this driving. So it's overdefined. It's overdefined because of these reasons. Um, it's very difficult to reverse engineer this dimensioning scheme. It's called some things parallel. Um, it's called these two lines equal to each other. Maybe that wasn't our intent. Uh, it's called this vertical. That could have just been vertical uh, by happenstance. And if we need to change the angles, we need that to change. So just keep in mind. Uh, when you're using fully defined sketch that it is not a cure-all. It is very helpful to figure out um, why your sketch isn't defined. And it's very useful if you throw in a few things, if you know that you need just two key angles on the design to stay the same, but the rest can be whatever it wants to be. And you wanna throw in a couple angles here and then let it fully define the sketch. We'll see that it did the same ordinate dimensioning scheme, but these angles are now kept uh, and we can now change these to change the sketch. So 
Um, there it is. It's not a cure-all, but it is a very useful tool. Thank you.